Welcome back to Your Issues Live. We're in Old Harbor. We're talking about emergency air evacuation. So we've told you it's $500 per month per person. We've been assured by COK. The actuaries have looked at this number. It's not a sham. It's been worked out. What they need is a lot of people in there to even ensure that that cost remains at $500. For Mr. Walker, sir, how do I sign up now? Right. You can visit Caribbean Assurance Brokers at 15 Trinidad Terrace. That's in New Kingston. Or you can visit us online, www.caribbeanassurancebrokers.com. Hold on, let me, that's a mouthful. Caribbean Assurance Brokers dot com. Com. Right. Yes. Or you can uh, telephone us at, there's a special line. Uh, it's 622-5523. And that line is 622 Yes, yes John. You can also go to com. No, that and e that's one is easy. www.jamaicamed.com. <laughs> and it will reach right. Caribbean as well. It will reach Caribbean Absolutely. Assurance mm. as well. You can mm. sign up online. You can pay online. And the folks from Caribbean Assurance will follow up with you to make sure you got everything you need. And uh, who's in charge of the fund? COK. That's COK. COK is in charge yes. of the fund. Absolutely. We are experts at fund management. We manage billions of dollars every day. And this is just another pool that we are looking forward to manage. Very well. <laughs> You're on, ma'am. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> we agree that we have... Come, come closer <coughs> to the microphone. We have our well-trained doctors, but then when you become a member and you are flown out of here, when you are being treated by the doctors, whether overseas or wherever, where does the bill go from there? Who gets the bill? Who gets the bill? Yes. Okay, she needs to understand fully. Yes. Who gets the bill? Who you the get bill. the bill. I get <laughs> 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 the bill. Okay does COK cover that um, medical bill? If you take out a loan, oh, you, you, you speak, ma'am. I, I don't represent. No. no. You, you will recall that we said earlier yes. that the, this provides you access for an airlift out of Jamaica. Oh, okay. So what the fund does, it pays for that airlift. Air However, being a member of the program, yes. you are able to have access to reduce to discounted medical um, care in the, in, the, in the facilities that are part of the program. Yes. And if you have local insurance and it's an emergency, the local insurance will then chip in with once it's an emergency. Yes. That cannot be dealt with here. We, uh, again, yeah. Understand it. Yes. I am not hearing them say yes. uh, that... $500 will get you a heart transplant. Just out of here. No, they're saying at that rate per month, yes. you get that <laughs> airlift out of here anytime, 24-7. Yes. Mm. You don't have to wait till the, the airport medical. wakes up. But we recommend, <laughs> though, yes, you recommend. we recommend that as if you plan for an emergency, it ceases to exist. That's what we have been saying. So come in and save. Begin to savings program just in case that emergency arises. And we, we give loans every day. That's what we do well. So you can also get a loan. <laughs> you know, um, Mr. Walker, one of the first things I, uh, when I met you, mm -hmm. you said something that was very striking about, um, you had called the name of another station at the same time, but um, not to worry, um, uh, that you were literally tired of seeing certain things on television. T mm -hmm. Tell me that story again. Uh, it, it, it was important to me. Yeah, well, that's one of the things that led me to be involved in the program. Because as an insurance broker, we have certain products that we sell to our clients, most of whom are high net worth clients. But every now and again, you would go home and you would see, turn on your television and you see there, are, there is a, a particular plea for um, persons to contribute to a fund to help Jamaicans. And in a lot of instances, these Jamaicans, they are not destitute. Some of them, they are, in fact, I recall on one occasion, there was a, a sergeant of police. She had a hole in her heart, and they were, they were requesting funds for her to go off. And I said, but listen, certainly we should be able to create a fund, which is what we are doing, to create a fund where Jamaicans could access the very same care that, as you said earlier, on people with high net worth can access. And that is really the essence of this program. In fact, the concern that I have is that those persons who are accessing the fund now, the vast majority of them who are 
accessing it with some level of urgency are persons who can afford to pay up to four or five times the fee that is now being charged. I don't see the average Jamaicans accessing the fund with that level of urgency. And, and that is worrying to me because it is saying that we have designed a program for these persons. And yet they're not, they're not making um, enough use. Are we scared of, of this program? Is it a good program? Just, uh, just doing a poll, just doing a poll mm. question here. Go ahead, sir. Good evening, everybody. I am Lessons Brown, and what I'd like to know, the credit union says they could assist by lending money to people who is sick. <laughs> do, do you, could you tell us the percentage of the loan that you would offer? <laughs> you mean the interest rate? No, yes. yes. Well, it, the interest rate will depend exactly on what you have as your security. So you and I can speak definitely off air on what uh, we could lend you at. But at this time, it, it, it will vary. Jamaica Med uh, is a Jamaican company. Uh, does it employ Jamaicans? Absolutely. Absolutely. This is inherently a local organization. It's been designed that way from the ground up. We're incorporated in Jamaica. We employ Jamaican employees. We are training Jamaicans for this program. While we have other people available to us, our goal is to be 100% Jamaican staffed very quickly. Uh, and Dr. Knows, Graham is helping us with that. Pretty soon you'll start saying Yaman. Yaman. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lawyer in the house. Sir, step forward, sir. Counsel. Uh, time for your cross-examination. This ain't no inquiry, but um, we hear that um, there is a legal footing here. We hear that... Um, Give us a sense of um, this company. Are, are, do, are they on, you know, Jamaicans want to know? Simple answer, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, first of all, good evening. Uh, introduce um, yourself, sir. My name is Kwame Gordon. I'm Jamaica Meds attorney at law. I, I work with Samuda and Johnson. And we were more than thrilled when, when John and Duane was introduced to us and we were invited to become a part of this program because we also, as Jamaicans, wanted the best for our own people. And we were happy to hear that this program was being offered to the ordinary Jamaican citizen. And of course, we went about trying to ensure that they complied with all the regulations, all the laws that are necessary. One thing I want to be clear, you would hear that it has been emphasized this is not an insurance program. And that is important because of certain issues we had to deal with yes. in respect of the Insurance Act. Yes. So we, we, we can safely say yes in terms of the arrangements for the transportation, the actual leasing of aircraft, the, 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 the whole set on the whole framework for the program. It is legally sound. I thank you, sir. What of the future? Well, the future holds uh, some very interesting things. I think because we have this foundation in place, we can create an inbound medical tourism environment that will lift the overall quality of health care in general. If you look at what happened in Singapore over the last 15 years, they did the same thing and they were at the same level as Jamaica was 15 years ago. But in 2012, they'll have one million inbound patients, which represents $20 billion U.S. and 13,000 jobs. You said foundation. The next thing that we will be doing is we'll be expanding the number of hospitals that are available. And as, a, as an entity, uh, Jamaica Med will be creating a foundation whose sole purpose is to help children in need. And we can do that because some of our hospitals work with us very closely so that traditionally, as, as Raymond was saying, Jamaicans are very giving. And so when someone a child in particular has a need, they band together and they raise the money and they send them off to Miami or, or some other place and their surgery takes place and the child comes home and everybody's happy. Except with our network, we can treat seven or eight children for that same amount of money. Okay. What if more than one person needs to go? That's the question that came up on the uh, telephone. You know, I, I, I see you putting in somebody in a plane, but what if it's, we had a situation on the ground? It all depends on the particular aircraft and the room in the aircraft. 
patient is primary, sometimes there's enough room for a significant other. Uh, again, patient primary, medical team, significant other. Will we be able to carry more than one patient? That's what I'm after. In yes. certain circumstances. It depends on the medical situation again. Okay, okay. So we have backups. Right. You've got backups. We've got backups. So if we need more than one plane, we have access to more than one plane. They may have to come from other places. We have a regional fleet that we have access to in addition to the planes that we have here on the ground. And we even, in a, in a case of an extreme emergency, have access to very large planes that can come in, land, and take away many, many people. Doc, yes. an emergency comes up, you know, a member of my family is hurt, I'll make it personal, so I don't want to pick on anybody, and I decide I want my, my family member to go access wherever, Cuba or wherever, San Sachuan, anywhere, yes? Um, how do I get you to approve that? Okay, there are a pr is a process. First, you can call the medical director. Um, secondly, and that's Dr. Never Graham. Dr. Never Graham. <laughs> yeah, that's him, um, right over there. And, and I would kick off the process where we actually get the staff from Jamaica Med and move on. Secondly, you probably will have to access care in Jamaica first. And during that time, your medical, um, your primary medical care physician will also access me or you can say, do you think that um, Jamaica Med can come in at this, at this point? Because it's not every emergency that Jamaica It's not every emergency okay. will need to be flown out. Mm -hmm. So the doctor will advise you. And what is happening with my colleagues on the ground now is that they are very much um, conscious of what is happening. In fact, we are in negotiations as we speak about other um, patients that may fly out. So that is the, the point where you access. From that, the patient is ready, the team takes over. The team will fly out the patient, but at the same time, contact the receiving physician, the receiving um, facility, wherever in the world, and we get it done. All right, wanna thank you so much. I did tell you that just before you know it, the program would have been over. But here's what I've learned. I've learned that Jamaica Med is here. I've learned that uh, for $500 per month per person, through a credit union, through an approved group, you can come in and have access to this. It is not paying your medical bills overseas. It is, however, giving you the benefit of their contacts overseas. You can get really discounted medical care. Uh, but they'll make it work for you. For you to be eligible for it, you have to be a member for six months. It is not tonight, but six months starts now. If you wait tomorrow, then it's six months after tomorrow. So do it. You can do it online at Jamaica, jamaicamed.com, caribbeanassurancebrokers.com. You know all the www's before that, right? And you can call 622-5523. That's right. Wow. <laughs> Amnesia is not sent in. I want to thank you so much for being a part of this program. It was a special one designed for you, an emergency. And do not, do not do it like the rest of Jamaicans. An emergency is not something that happens to somebody else. It can happen to you. It happened to her brother, Ms. Lamon, and she's here. And we bless your heart and thank you so much. May his soul rest in peace. And for you, until another time, Michael Sharp saying, your issues live, your issues still are Jamaica. <laughs>